Get it. Thank you. Hi. My Very ring. Nice meeting you. I, st I swallowed it. I swallow everything. Yes, and then tomorrow. <laughs> But I never give it back. Um, I just want to look this way. Yeah, you want to look, want look in the camera? We can, we can even talk about this. That normal, you can, you can run. It's on? Okay. Norm normally, I ask my, uh, my partners in this conversation that we should look at each other's eyes. But I know that you're so beautiful looking at the camera. But I thought maybe we can speak like this, that we're both looking in the camera. What do you think? Is that a question? Yes, I am beautiful, and yes, this is perfect. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so you are here right now after like over right 25 now. years of traveling all around the world and being at different festivals and stuff. Is it difficult to still get excited over this state, or it feels like it's naturally coming to you and you're on fire? Well, it's not difficult to get excited when you go somewhere that you've never been, especially somewhere as special and magical as Tel Aviv. It's like I was telling Sherry, it's a total bucket list thing. I don't know if you are familiar with that phrase here. I am, actually. We are. So <laughs> a list of things you want to do before you kick the bucket, which means die. Yes, we have daily bucket li lists in this country, yes. actually. So do tell me about what makes you so excited about Tel Aviv. Well, I mean, number one, I've never been here. Number two, uh, I've never been here. No, uh, and you know, you just hear from friends that it's fabulous and you gotta go there and then all of a sudden the phone rings and you're going. So that's why I'm excited. And then I, you know, you hear stories about how gorgeous the men are. <laughs> Sorry, the camera guy's really cute. No, he is, you're cute no. too. I, I'm cute. He's hot. You're like it's beachy. a different. Oh yeah, I went you're for beachy, this. You're I'm bitchy, and, <laughs> and I he's, don't know what he is. He's beefy. Yeah, we can turn the camera around later if you'll be good. So let's let's speak a bit of uh, all the like the drag phenomenon is really getting out of the LGBTQ control? scene. Of control, it got out a long time ago, I yes. think, but it's out of the LGBTQ scene. Everybody is interested in it. Do you think it puts more pressure on the drag queens or it's uh, finally a burden that just well, broke down? Uh, first of all, everyone is a drag queen now. I mean, it's like when, sh when we started 30 years ago, there was only like seven of us, you know, me, Sherry, Lady Bunny, Varla Jean Merman, Coco Peru, people like that. And the people who decided to do drag were the people who were sort of misfits within the already misfit gay community. And there are gay bars in America that wouldn't even let drag queens in the door, especially the leather bars. And now they all have their drag race night with the drag queen du jour hosting it. Mm -hmm. So there's a part of me that I think it's great that drag queens can walk down the street and not get beat up, but we have definitely lost a little something, a little of the magic. And now you can go on YouTube and watch a makeup tutorial. You don't have to, you know, everyone's doing the same makeup. And um, I don't even have my signature makeup on tonight because I wanted to look pretty. I didn't do clowny. Believe it or not, this is, this is natural for me. <laughs> But I guess my point is, you, 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 use a, you, you lose a little bit of the magic when something goes mainstream. So, there's good and there's bad. I know so some people actually are so not aware of it, how complicated it is to be a drag queen. I'm not just talking about the wigs and the makeup and the heels and all of this, but you know, it's not just getting on a new dress and sparkle around. It's uh, always working on new creative projects, I guess. So please tell me what are you working on right now? What are the projects that are right now keeping you super excited and alive? We are always working on new things. Uh, Sherry and I do The Golden Girls, which is an American TV show from the 80s yeah, yeah, about yeah. four old ladies. We do it live on but stage. You are too young for that part. We are too young. It takes hours of special effects, old lady makeup. No, but we do it live on stage. So then we started doing other TV shows. Do you know the show Three's Company from the 70s? Nope. Oh, it's really stupid. Anyway, so we're doing that. And uh, we do a show called Battle of the Bitches that we travel all over with where we go song to song you know different subjects and it's always something and I write for a lot of other drag queens because you get on that TV show and you become famous but so few of them can even put a sentence together these days so I have to help them write jokes and shows and stuff so but I'm not bitter 
It's kind of weird because like in one hand you're helping them and in the other hand it's what you said that like, you know, they will look funny and glamorous and perfect in front of the camera and you put the work behind it. Do they, do you feel like the younger drag queens give credit to the youngs forever, the youngs at heart and in body and soul? Some do. Uh, I think you, some do and some don't. Some just don't even know, to be honest. There's a whole generation of people doing drag now who only do it because they saw Drag Race. Hmm. So you can tell a queen who has started out in nightclubs and is what I call a show pony and works night after night and that's the only way to get good. It's like stand-up com uh, comedians. It's like stand-up comedy. You have to do it over and over and over. But now, I'm gonna be honest with you, because of the TV show, Drag Race, people can just get on stage and everyone is screaming no matter what they do. And they don't have to plan, they just act like a fool. I mean, listen, there are very talented queens from Drag Race, but I'm just saying that level of TV fame is a bit of a curse because you can get up there and just do whatever, and everyone's just screaming and yelling because they've seen you on TV. Wow. Sounds like you do need to show those bitches how it's done, actually. Thank you so much for being here. I think we need this energy over here. Thanks oh, a lot. Thank you so much. We are much. very excited thank to you, have honey. you. Thank you, honey. It's a pleasure. Thank you.